In this presentation, we'll look at bank master data. Before we proceed to create the bank master data, let's create a bank GL account. So we'll create a general ledger account for our main bank account. So I'm going to the transaction code here, FS00. Okay, to continue. And then here I'm going to give it an ID for my bank account. This is going to be my main bank account. So I'm just going to call it as 10100. I can put another zero over here. 100100. That's going to be my main bank account. And then I'm going to specify this icon over here. GL account type. So bank is going to be under the balance sheet account section under assets. So I'm going to put that over here. And I'm going to give my bank's name over here. And then along with saying it's a main bank account. Maybe it can be current account or savings account and so on. So I'll call this as for short text. I'll put Bank of America, Chicago, let's say current account. And then here I'll call it as Bank of America, Chicago branch, current account, and I'll call it as main bank account. So why I'm calling this as a main bank account is that I can see I given the GL account number as 100 and I can create sub bank accounts later like 101 for cash coming in, 102 for electronic fund transfer going in, electronic fund transfer going out and so on. I can create sub bank accounts using a chronological numbering like 100, 101, 102, 103 and so on. Another one for bank charges. All these sub accounts will later come into play when we get the bank statements. We can link different type of transactions to those sub accounts and they will reconcile with the main bank account and main bank account will have the final amount of or the bank balance what you currently have in this particular account so now at this stage we'll just keep it simple i'm just going to call this bank of america chicago branch current account is going to be my main bank account and then go to control data keep it in usd balance is going to be in local currency keep that as it is no need to do any changes over here and here i'm just going to put the general one i think it's a uh, yb01 i'm assuming let's just check what's available in the option ah, here it is there's something called general i'll use that one and simply save the transaction that's done now let's look at how we can create a bank master data using the fury app so if you come to the fury app you have a fury app called manage banks and sometimes it might be under the cash management bank accounts management basic profile so you have managed banks and you have a basic version of that and then you have managed bank accounts so this managed bank accounts is where you create your actual bank account which you have as your house bank we'll look at that terminology later let's just simply create some banks so we're just going to click on this icon and it'll take us to the screen over here and then we click on create bank and this way we can specify the bank details so bank country i'm going to put us Bank key is like a unique ID provided to your bank branch. So in the US it's called uh, ABI routing number. So I'm just going to give that ID over here. Bank name. So I'm going to call it the Bank of America. And then here you can give some other information. Bank number, you can give it the same as a bank key or you can just leave it blank. And then come to the region. I'm going to say it's in the state of Illinois. Street, I'll say 105 King Street City let me say Chicago and bank branch I'll say 105 King Street branch just some basic information so now so you can create your bank important thing is you specify your bank key over here and then save the transaction and then your bank is created very simple now suppose you have your current account or your check account in this bank which you have created your company whatever the accounts you have maintained you need to put this field manage bank accounts so you need to put those account numbers in the manage bank accounts app that is called your house bank so it's like your home bank where you actually bank it with so all your current savings fixed deposits all are within this house bank and whatever accounts you have for each of those bank accounts you hold you need to create a manage bank account um, put that over here so let's select this app and then we go on to create 
and then we can start creating the bank account so we must ensure that your bank key has already been created using the manage bank app which we saw earlier so here you can specify the account number i'm just going to put some random number over here account descriptions i'm going to call it as a current account bank country i'm going to say it's in the us yep select that bank key i'm going to put 017 yeah that's what i just created i'll use that one account currency is in usd and then here i can specify which company code it belongs to so it is the company code which is using this bank account so i'm going to specify that over there m001 and what is the name registered under this bank account so i'm going to call this m holding company that's how we have registered with the bank account type what type of account type if you just look at the drop down option and then select go over here i'm going to select current account Sometimes it can be a savings account, fixed deposit account. You see there are many options over there. So I'm just going to say current account. And you can put some other information also, contact person, um, and there's so many other systems, uh, the fields available. I'm just going to leave that blank for now and just simply save the transaction. So I'm going to say submit for activation. And you might just get a warning message saying or information message saying that bank is not in the bank hierarchy. We can ignore for that now and just simply close and that's created. Now you can also create your bank master data via the SAP GUI path. So you have the short transaction code FI01 or you can use a menu path shown below, shown above. So FI01, just click on that and it will create the bank master record. So again, you can specify something like that bank country bank id you can give it an id like that press ok and you can specify the bank name region street city branch and then simply save again another easy way to create the bank master data let's just exit now so you have two options you can use fi01 to create via the gui menu path or you can use a fiori app manage banks as well now we saw how we can create a bank mass data using the Fiori app and the SAP GUI part. And then we also created a house bank with the bank account details using the Fiori app. Now practice creating a few bank accounts, a bank master data details, and then you can create one or two house bank. Probably you can create one for your current account, one for your savings account, and probably one for your fixed deposit account as well. Now generally in the SAP environment, before you go on a production live system or you go live you upload all the bank bank master data for your organization that's not only for your organization it's for your entire country so suppose you are in a country with about 10,000 bank branches you upload all those 10,000 bank branches via a flat file or your data management team will take care of that they can now probably load via a bank by or some other way or they will be able to load the, all the banks in branches in your country so this will ensure that whenever you're dealing with a customer or a vendor who are created as business partner and they, when they bring their bank account over to you, so you need to make the payment, that bank branch is already created in the system. If for any new bank branches which are opening, then you will have to create a new bank master data. Or if you're dealing with a foreign customer or a foreign vendor, then you will have to create that foreign bank also as a bank master data. Please remember, you do not create your customers or vendors bank account numbers as house bank accounts. You only create your own bank accounts as house bank accounts. So you're only creating actual physical bank branches as bank master data and then your own bank accounts as house bank with the bank account details. So if you are in a smaller country where you only have about 1000 banks, it probably is much easier that you'll be just loading 1000 banks. But there are some larger countries where you can go up to more than 10,000 banks also. So then you'll probably have to load all the bank branches as well. So practice creating a few bank master data and then create your house bank with bank account details.